Hey everybody, I'm Mike Foster. I'm the community lead at Stack Rocks, and I'm joined by Doran, who's the PM at uh, for Red Hat Advanced Cluster Security. Quick show of hands, who here has heard about Stack Rocks? That's awesome. I love to hear that. Stack Rocks obviously recently rebranded to Red Hat Advanced Cluster Security after the Red Hat purchase in 2021. Um, it's been a fun two years. We have some cool announcements we want to share with you. And I'm uh, just going to go through the agenda real quick. Quick update, obviously. I'm not going to ramble about security and Kubernetes. Um, we're going to get into the product, where it's at, a little bit of the mission, um, as well as the roadmap. Uh, going to introduce you to the new ACS cloud service. Duran's been working on this tirely and, or tirelessly, and it's been really awesome to see a little bit of the Stack Rocks vision um, come to life in the last year. Um, and then again, how to get started and what's next for us, a little bit of a roadmap. Um, any questions? I think we keep it to at lunch. We'll be over there, come meet us after. Ooh. So security and Kubernetes, always a hot topic. Uh, Sigstore Khan's kicking it off today too. I think Luke Hines is here. Um, again, I think over the last seven years, everybody knows the DevOps movement, big cultural shift, really the change. Security was always supposed to be a part of that, right? And we need our tools to actually enable developer growth to work with the speed of the development of containers. And that's what Stackbox and the Kubernetes native app security application was designed to do. And for our delivering business value, this is supposed to come with a huge list of notes. I'm not going to ramble about it. But in terms of the mission of Stackbox, really, we want a faster time to resolution. We want to build those security policies early in the CI CD process with notifications so that developers know how to remediate their fixes. And we want to cut down on noise. We want to bridge that skill gap. So I mean, uh, I'm sure some security teams getting into Kubernetes, it's a little overwhelming. We want to make sure that they have the right context, that developers, operations, and security teams can share information easily uh, and hopefully asynchronously if we can automate things. And then we want to cross that func uh, break across functional barriers, provide guidance, enable collaboration in a way that we can do it all declaratively. So again, security programs are successful when they, they deliver these key attributes. So where does ACS fit in? Uh, for those, I, I mean, that's kind of nice that everybody knows about it, so I'll keep it brief. But we really excel in vulnerability management and pairing that with that Kubernetes-rich data of the configuration, uh, all the different manifests, to give you a more in-depth look at your, the risk in your cluster for your applications. Um, we obviously use Kubernetes native controls, things like network policies for network segmentation. We generate those network policies as well to help out. Um, and then, of course, we have remediation to help you meet compliance standards and an eBPF module as well for detection and runtime response. Uh, and it really is an awesome platform if you guys want to check it out. And then uh, I'll hand it off to, oh, I got one more slide before Duran takes over. But again, we were the first Kubernetes native security platform. I like to point that out, the first in 2017 to really break out and take that title. And again, it's about building those policies in your build, deploy, and run um, infrastructure, doing it as like shift left as possible, if I'm going to use the marketing term. All right, and now Duran's going to take you through a little bit of what we've done over the last two years since the acquisition. Yeah, so um, what we've done in the last two years, uh, Red Hat bought uh, StackRox and invest a lot of uh, effort and, uh, and resource in ramping uh, AC, uh, StackRox to be ACS, but in, in, this, in a situation today. Uh, we introduced a new dashboard that you can all see in, in our latest uh, version. Uh, we create security and alert workflows for team to use namespace and namespace annotation. And we add, I will not go over all the features, but we introduce a, new, a lot of new features and also integrate with the stack, with, with uh, Red Hat in general. Uh, we integrate with uh, Rail 9 in version 7.2. Uh, we, we introduced a lot of integration with our uh, compliance framework, with compliance operator, and w we also supporting all the all the cloud implementation of uh, OpenShift today, including uh, Rosa and uh, and, the, and Arrow. And we so, open sourced as well. We that should be in there too. We open source, so we got to keep the Stack Rocks name alive as open source Stack Rocks. Um, and now we have an even bigger announcement this too. Yes, yeah, so um, on the last for the last year, we're working on uh, making ACS as a as a cloud service as a SaaS offering. 
that allow customer to have a quick uh, time to value. So you don't need to install central, you don't install the, the main components, you don't need to maintain it. We will maintain it for you uh, in the cloud. Uh, we also introduce, we will introduce a, a better way to, uh, easy way to purchase it and use a regular cloud uh, way of consuming uh, services. Uh, we will provide the full support, 24-7 uh, support and uh, SRE, SRE support on the back end. And we also, uh, if you run, uh, we will be able to uh, secure any, any Kubernetes cluster. We can do it in, with ACS today. Uh, but uh, using cloud services will make it easier for customers uh, to use and secure EKS, AKS, and GKE. Um, some additional information. So again, we are launching first on, EK, on uh, AWS, uh, but in basically we will expand to the rest of the clouds, but you as base uh, ACS capabilities with cloud native, and with Kubernetes native, so you can support with uh, with any 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 um, Kubernetes uh, deployment and secure any Kubernetes deployment. And if you want to manage it yourself and use that operator, that's always your choice too. Yeah. Um, if you want to sign up, so we're releasing this as a service preview to start. We're looking for customer feedback, um, seeing what our customers need. Um, so if you scan the QR code, it'll bring you to a page for sign up. Um, again, there's that service preview process. You'll probably end up on a call with me eventually, uh, taking down all of your worries and, and fears, and we'll, we'll get through it together. So uh, again, um, scan that QR code for more. The QR code will pop up at the end as well, and you can always find us for more questions. Uh, Duran, what else am I missing? And yeah, we are looking for customers to, to sign up for the early access. Uh, use this product uh, with us together. We will uh, have a and white glove services from our team helping you using the product and uh, get we, we're looking for feedback from from your, for for you from you and other customers to get our product better and launch the best product that, as we can on uh, during GA. Yeah, and the goal is to uh, so start service preview in December as well. Yeah, right. So it's coming up pretty fast. And then what's next for? For ACS specifically, we're working out the roadmap right now. Um, Duran knows the roadmap way better than I do, so I don't want to take over. But in terms of key priorities for us, um, always innovating in the security space. There's a lot of moving parts, and I'm sure I think Luke, yeah, Luke's here. There's a lot of a lot of talk about security over at uh, KubeCon right now. So security innovation, obviously the cloud service, working with integrating into Red Hat's existing portfolio with things like Quay and the different Claire scanners and things like that. And of course, the StackRock's open source project. Um, send your developers up there. It's uh, it's really nice to get contributions, and we'd love to have you on our community meetings. Duran, I think you had some some notes uh, about some specifics. Yeah, um, so we ramp up our vulnerability management. Uh, one of the major things is we align with we working on the line with Claire. So we have one uh, one uh, security one uh, vulnerability management tools for both for all our open source of all our. Red Hat uh, uh, stack. Uh, we enhance the uh, vulnerability management with a lot of uh, new guidance and uh, presentation and workloads. Um, we add more and more capabilities for, for dashboarding and uh, presenting capabilities. Uh, we launch already uh, the RHEL 9 UBI and RHEL 9 uh, RPM uh, vulnerability scanning. Uh, we introduce the host vulnerability scanning, and uh, we will include it. It's already uh, available, but we will enhance the capability for developer local uh, image scanning. Um, for the DevOps or SecOps uh, and compliance, uh, we continue with the dashboarding, uh, improving our dashboarding and including uh, trends and history data. Uh, including uh, uh, introducing a uh, risk indicators that exist today, but we are improving it. Uh, we introduce our uh, more capabilities on compliance, including EKS compliance, uh, benchmark for, uh, CIS EKS uh, compliance, and we are going to enhance our compliance experience with introduce we inter uh, ma uh, major introduction and inter interaction with the compliance operator that already. Uh, using on, on OpenShift, and we, we're going to expand it to other uh, platforms. 
on network security, uh, which we are moving on, we try, we are mo working on uh, moving uh, the network security and policy management to shift left and now allowed a DevOps team to create the network policies. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I can, I'm giving a demo if anybody's at KubeCon on Thursday about this. The MP Guard project's really cool. Uh, creating network, uh, network policies at the developer level, checking it against some uh, policies that your security team's checked in so that um, you can do it asynchronously and you don't have the security team coming in after and cramming down network policies on your developers. So it's awesome. The MP Guard project, if anybody wants to look it up, or uh, come meet me at the Red Hat booth on Thursday at uh, 1050. Um, but again, that's a huge one, I think, for network security because Definitely. it's a very powerful Kubernetes native tool and we want, uh, we want people to implement it in a way that works for their teams. And yeah, so for community projects, uh, StackRox project, obviously, stackrox.io, you can find out all your information there. Uh, we use the Claire scanner underneath the hood and so does uh, it's Quay as well. Um, Falco is a project that we contribute to and, uh, and we love them. They do some great work. They help with a lot of our runtime scanning and the Kubelinter project. So we can extend some of those checks to the developer. You can do some quick configuration checks against your YAML files to uh, see what's not uh, necessarily the most secure. Um, and then lastly, I think is the final send off before lunch. We'd love you to sign up. Even if you don't necessarily think you're the best use case, sign up. Let us contact you. Let's see uh, what you're working with. And um, we'd love to even get feedback from you if, if you're not using it and why you're not using it. So really appreciate uh, you listening to us. Hope you have a, a great lunch and enjoy the rest of comments. Thank you for having us.